Hi. I'm Raji Hassan. I'm a teacher, a writer, and an actor. Gallop pace, you fiery-footed steeds. Hey, yeah, right? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, what am I doing? I'm exploring human connection. I believe that we are a culture that, the, that is unfortunately plagued by fear and disconnection. And with this show, I want to ask, how can we connect again to ourselves and to each other? This is the Raji Hassan Show. Today on the show, I'm bringing you part three of my conversation with Lucy Arnaz. In this conversation, Lucy shares with us that fame and success are not all it's cracked up to be. A lot of us think, I have thought many times, that if I just had all the money I could ever want or all of the notoriety I could ever want, I would be happier. I do think that fame is a commodity that is sold to the social media generation. I do believe that fame is sold to us. And the idea that having a bunch of followers and having all of the influence we could ever want will make us happier, I think that's sold to us. I think it's a lie. And I know it's a lie. Because as Lucy will share with us, all of the fame and all of the success that we could ever want does not bring happiness. And I want to encourage you that if if you are not in the entertainment industry and you're watching this episode, replace that with whatever your industry is. And perhaps you're not seeking fame, but I'm willing to believe that you might be seeking success of some kind in some arena. Will that success bring the satisfaction that you want? Enjoy this conversation. Well, okay. So then when, when we are, when our heads are spinning through with this, like we're, we're motivated by likes and fame and all that kind of stuff. And I want to return to, why don't I call it the, the, I mean, this could make me cry, but the bravery of Desi Arnaz, right? Or Mm -hmm. the, the the, mm-hmm. the the love for the work of Lucille Ball or something like that. Yeah. Or the honesty of Lucy Arnaz. Right? If I want to return to one of those things, what's your idea of how to do that? Well, I'm not sure how to answer that to satisfy what you're really asking. But I can tell you that uh, those people who are in this business because they think somehow succeeding in the business is going to really make their day. It's going to make their whole whole life. It's going to change things for the better. Money helps make everything better. Success really makes things better. So all I need to do is work harder, make more money and get more successful. And then I will be happy. My life is going to be a thousand times better. My kids are going to be happier. My, My spouse is going to be happier. I came from probably the biggest success anybody could wish for. My family was very successful, arguably, right? They had it all. They had the most popular television show of all time. They weren't as rich as even one of those influencers at, during their time, but they had all the money that they needed. They, had, they were wanting for nothing. Um, and they were not happy people. And they didn't get along all the time. And they ended their lives fairly sadly. And and, um, it didn't help. It didn't make it better. And because I grew up in that family, I'm lucky. Because I never went into this business wanting fame and lots of money, you know, fortune and the notoriety part. I actually like what I'm doing. I actually enjoy performing. I enjoy playing characters whether it's on stage in a comedy or a drama or in a song. This is what I do. It's my bliss. And that's what I do it for. And that's how I can get through the crazy times and the the down times and the rejection, all the stuff that comes with this business. Because I actually like what I'm doing and I could do it till I drop. I just will do it. And I don't care if I'm the most famous person in the world. I get, I get a lot out of doing it. Uh, If you're not like that and you're doing it for a different reason, you're going to find trouble somewhere along the line, either right down in the beginning or at the end, because 
fame will come to you fast or slow, but it will come and it will blow your mind in not a good way. It isn't what you think it is. It comes with tons of problems. The more money you have, the more people who want a part of you. Then it's your life gets very complicated and you need more people to help you run it. You know, not just an agent. Now you need an agent and a manager. Oh, and a public relations person. Oh, and a business manager. Oh, and a, somebody to watch your kids because you're gone all day and somebody to clean your bigger house that you got with more acreage and you may have a lot more money, but you also have uh, 10 times more bills and more worry. So there's that. And there's all the stress of trying to keep what you got and not let some other little, you know, next flavor of the month get ahead of you. And if that's important that they don't, you're going to make yourself crazy. And you see how many people are in this business that have had drug and alcohol problems because they can't handle the success, the stress that comes with that you know, the success, the stress of the success. And um, they're not ready for it. They had no idea what it was going to be like. They what? And they expected something completely different. I don't. I know exactly what it's like. So I don't expect any, anything great. If it comes and it has, I've had a great time on and off, up and down, around and around. But I've been working for 50 years without with the exception of the COVID year, not one year out of work doing something I love. So, you know, that, that's just, you just have to have your eyes open to what it is you're actually in this business for mm. and, and ask yourself that. What do I really want out of this? Why am I here? Why am I here? It's a wonderful question to ask ourselves. What do I really want. I think very often it is easy to believe that we are motivated by generous, altruistic desires, when perhaps underneath that is something that is more selfish or fear-driven. Fear saying to us that if you don't get all the likes that you need, if you don't get all the money that you want, if you don't get all the attention that you want, you will be unhappy. If you don't get all the attention that you want, you are worthless. I have felt that many times. Many times I have felt that. It's not true. And so we exist on these hamster wheels regardless of the industry that you're in. We're on these hamster wheels trying to achieve all of this success because we think it's going to bring satisfaction when will it bring stress? Maybe it will bring a certain measure of satisfaction and maybe it might also bring stress as well. I wish that we could be honest with ourselves as to why we are seeking the things that we're seeking. So let's do a breath exercise and see if our true why comes to the surface, okay? So close your eyes. Place your hand on your low breath center, on your diaphragm, on your belly button. As you inhale, does the hand move? Drop the breath there. Let's go in for five, out for five. Let's just do that two times today. And in, two, three, four. Four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, last time, out, two, three, four, five. In the space of this silence, can you find clarity that leads you to your genuine why? And if the reason that arises is one that is fear-based, that is okay. It's okay. Take some time. Begin to unpack it. See if you can shift it into something that is genuinely worthiness-based. And then take that desire, that intention, that why, and see if you can build upon that. Thank you for your time, and I will see you next week.